And the worst thing they teach me as a man is that I'm supposed to be like a prince. I'm supposed to rescue women from all situations and do all things for them. And women don't need that anymore. They don't give a shit. And it's not, this sounds like I'm being, oh, do you know what my problem is? I love too much. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'll ruin your fucking life. I will follow you everywhere and do everything and weird little shitty things where you go, oh, I've got to book that. <laughs> no, you haven't. I went through your diary. I saw you had that meeting coming up, so I booked the train for you. No need to thank me. <laughs> do, uh... <laughs> Don't get angry with me, can you? Because it's a nice thing, but it's all festering away. <laughs> Until one day it all comes out and you just go, will you piss off? <laughs> I can eat a yogurt on my own. <laughs> and I go, you don't have to. I'll flick it at you. You just tell me what yogurt you like, I'll wake you up by flicking it into your face. So I tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna have my own phone. <laughs> Fuck. That's not the voice I'm sticking with. I think that's the one that jars most with the body I've been given. Hey, hi, what's happening? You're leaving. <laughs> what's happening? I, I, the reason I want a relationship to work is because I finally, for the first time in my life, started to think I want kids. And I've never really... Broody, to me, is just not certain that I definitely don't want children. <laughs> if I, even for a second, think, oh, I could handle that, that is massive broodiness to me. <laughs> and it happened the other day, walking near where I live, I saw a woman pushing a pram with two kids in it, about toddler age, they could converse and understand. And all I had to say, really tedious comment, she just went, well, no, because cars aren't allowed to turn right all the time. Sometimes they have to go straight on. That's all I heard her say. And I thought, that's what I want. I want to have to explain that to a human. Imagine how fun it must be to have company of two humans to whom you say a sentence like that and they go, you blow my mind. <laughs> well, I've always thought they could just turn right willy-nilly, but you're telling me sometimes they have to go straight on. I mean, how do they, where do they end up? Well, they just do two rights. Fuck me. <laughs> So glad you're with me. I just think I understand this world. And then, because I, like, I want to be a teacher, I just, I don't know where the lines are with children because I'm not naturally a, a sympathetic person. I like to be able to do things to help people, but they have to be concrete things. I'm not cuddly. I don't do, oh, it's the double ball, oh, the double ball, the double ball. <laughs> all that shit I hate. Words like didums and new new and schminky and all that crap. When you tell someone a problem, they go, oh, do do boo boo, you got piss off, don't touch me. <laughs> tell me how to pay my rent this month. Don't tickle me like I'm a dog that's pissed on something. I'm not, and I, I, I don't think I could be, because I don't think sympathy's good, even for children. It's not good to be given sympathy, you need help. Like, you know when you watch a child running around and then it falls over? There's a 30 second window, they don't cry straight away. There's a gap in which the whole world stops. And it's just the child working out what's happening. They're just going, well. That's a lot of carpet in the old face. <laughs> What's happened here? What was I doing? I was watching Thomas. I wanted a Jaffa cake. I really wanted a fucking Jaffa cake. <laughs> I run into the kitchen and I've got all this carpet up in my grill. And I think if you leave them there, they'll work that out. They'll become functioning human beings. But parents don't let them. As a parent, you see your child and you go, Oh, oh no! And that's when the kid goes, Shit, I'm dying. <laughs> Broken bones, I'll never walk again. <laughs> well, the least I can do is cry, I guess. I'll cry, then I'll get some ice cream, and then we'll deal with it later. <laughs> I reckon as a parent, if you see your child fall over and you go, <laughs> <laughs> the kid will go, what am I like? <laughs> oh, so sorry about that. I'm sorry. How many times have you told me about running? Ah, oh, fool to myself. I'm going to go and watch some Thomas and chill out for a bit. <laughs> I'm not naturally sympathetic, and I'm not... I don't know when you're supposed to tell a child it's shit at something, and when you're supposed to accept that it's just a child that's not capable of this yet. I don't know. I, I just... I couldn't... Oh, what are you doing there? A little bit of colouring in? Oh. I just, well, no, I just... Well, I just wonder why you're carrying on with that, because you've gone out of the lines, haven't you? It's ruined. <laughs> you can never be perfect now, can it? Because you're going to have to start again, because I tell you what, it's not going on the fridge like that. <laughs> Trying to eat my breakfast with that brown line coming out of the tree. Bullshit, start again. <laughs> and here's a little tip from Daddy. When you do the next one, just have a look what colour your Winnie the Pooh is and then wonder why you've done him fucking purple. <laughs> uh, 
It's not creativity, it's copyright infringement. <laughs> it's a registered trademark. That's why it talks and all that shit. Don't talk in real life. No, it would eat your face off. <laughs> eat your face off. Arr! You could scream for help from Piglet, of course you could, but I imagine he had him first. <laughs> so fucking vulnerable. Anyway, what are you crying for? Get your shoes on, we're going shopping. <laughs> now we're getting onions. You need to learn to say this shit. <laughs> Otherwise you'll get bullied, because I'll do it. I, do, I really don't, because I, I, I went to visit a friend who'd had kids. I've got a lot of friends who are starting to have kids because they've got mortgages. Uh, I start to worry they're going to leave each other, so I think we'll have a kid. That's us tied down for 18 years then. <laughs> they don't acknowledge that, obviously. They put some gloss on it and they stop inviting me around for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but they're starting to have kids, and I, I visited a friend who'd had a child, and the morning was just unbelievable. We went to an allotment, and it was looking at everything and laughing. It'd laugh at any old shit. Old jokes, nicked stuff. Idiot, this thing. You just pull a face, it would piss its pants. I was like, ah, oh, I definitely want a kid. I definitely want a kid. Then we went back to their house and they gave it a banana. Total 180 degree U-turn, instantly. <laughs> this thing could not do banana. It was the most unpleasant, rancid thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Didn't stop him shoving it in its face though, did it? And the eyes on this kid went big. It knew what was happening, it was embarrassed for itself. It was just exactly the same eyes that a dog does when you watch it having a shit. Just like... <laughs> watch if you like, mate, but we're not going to enjoy this, either of us. <laughs> Ramming this banana in it, and it could mush it up, of course it could. It could take the banana, mush it up. None of it was going down, just all... <laughs> all spitty and brown now it was, going down its face. And I was looking at it going... Ugh. Oh, you sickened me. You can't have kids if that's your response, can you? My kids would be paranoid by about six, just rocking in a corner going, I'm not eating fruit, Daddy, I'm not. <laughs> mush him, and then the parents will go, oh, get it back in, you go, oh! <laughs> God, it's on you now! Oh, now I can't touch anything in this spitty banana house of shit. <laughs> I started imagining it cascading down the walls. It was like The Shining, I was trying to get out and it was oceans of it pouring down the stairs, trying to open the door without touching it and getting spitty banana all over me. 